Tower of Brahma or Tower of Hanoi or the Locust Tower, whatever you call it. It's an ancient puzzle of great interest. So, uh, first of all, I'll tell you the objective of this puzzle and then later on about the Tower of Brahma, Tower of Hanoi, I mean, what's there in the name. So, uh, like you see, this is a wooden puzzle with uh, these nine discs and uh, these three towers. And the objective is to shift this stack of uh, disc uh, in one of these towers, one by one. Obviously, I mean, not all at once or in a multiple way, two or three. What you have to do is that, I mean, there are just two simple rules of doing the Tower Brahma. The rule number one says that you can pick one disc at a one time, all right? And uh, the second rule says you cannot place a larger dish on a smaller dish. I mean, that's, that's just not possible. You don't have that choice. So what you do is you can put this dish on a tower, which, is, which has a place. Now, third dish, it has a kind of a block movement because you, you cannot place it because this is larger for this dish and for this dish as well. What you do is that uh, here comes that recursive movement. What you have to do, you have to make a smart movement of uh, putting uh, one of these discs uh, uh, and, and make this, this place for the, the other disc to come, up, uh, come out. So, uh, this goes in here, this comes in here, and this comes here, and this goes back in here, and this. so your tower is shifted, I mean, partially shifted with these three discs. So, uh, now the fourth disc come out, and then you start getting into the trouble of the puzzle and the trouble is that you know as you keep on taking out the dish it becomes quite complex for you to decide which dish you know you'll be taking place and go back and forward that kind of and in, in fact a very interesting uh, algorithm uh, what we call the recursive movements and that's why it is one of the teaching ad in computer programming and and that's where the the legend comes up that uh, they say that uh, there's a temple in india in the city of Varan varansi and uh, they have uh, this temple of Kashi Vishwanath where they have, uh, I mean, it's pretty similar, these kind of uh, pillars. And uh, some say they have 64 disc. And uh, upon uh, the commandment of the Lord Brahma, uh, the priests are supposed to shift uh, one disc in, in each day. And they say, uh, according to the rule, I mean, one disc at one time and the last place on a space. And that all the movements, so, uh, I mean, today the, the 64th disc will be shifted. Uh, the Lord Shiva, who is the the God, the Hindu God of uh, creation and you know uh, recreation of the cosmos, will decide whether this universe will collapse into the cosmic phase or will be regenerated, dep depending on the karmas of the human kind. So, uh, well, legend remains the legend, but uh, mathematicians have their own way of uh, looking at the things in a more scientific way. So. Uh, a French mathematician, Edward Lucas, made a remarkable contribution in uh, the story of Tower Brahma because he uh, designed a toy version of that and that's why it goes with his name Lucas Tower. But before that, he came up with a very interesting pattern, a mathematical pattern behind uh, these dishes. I mean, there is, a, there is a relation of the, you know, turns, I mean, the chances that you have to go forward, the number of shifting with the number of these discs, I mean, if you solve uh, the Tower of Brahma with three discs, I'll just show you. Okay. Uh, I mean, it will take you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves to do the Tower of Brahma with three discs. And, uh, and the, the pattern is very simple. It's a very quite known binomial expansion is 2 to the power n minus 1. So uh, that was a remarkable observation with putting 64 number of dish into that formula or into that rather pattern, mathematical pattern. And the turns that he came up with that we, I mean, that, that's in fact is the math mathematical fact now the turns would require to, I mean, do the Tower of Brahma with 64 dish is You'll have to excuse me because I'm not used to read or spell such a large number. The terms would be 18446744073709551615. Wow! 
that much turns you will require and if you if you take uh, the shifting i mean if you take the fastest movement of shifting if you if the monk or a player will shift one dish in one second then the 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 closest time that will uh, require to do the tower brahma with 60 bo 64 for this as they uh, in that time uh, it would be around uh, 500 billion years i mean that is says to be yuga of brahma so likewise legends have their own parallel stories and theories in different part of the world and and they say uh, there are similar kind of a temple there in um, in uh, vietnam because hanoi is basically a place in vietnam so there there is a said that the monks are shifting the same kind of a disc with the ancient prophecy so uh, that's why they have a different story in the world but um, the uh, the fact remains very clear that I mean, whether it was done by Lord Brahma or some uh, priest who was pretty smart in mathematics. But uh, this puzzle is very interesting to improve your uh, kind of, um, you know, uh, smartness in making recursive move. You know, kind of a strategic thing that you have to think in advance, which dish will shift. And uh, it's a great exercise for your mind. And uh, if you want to explore more about the, uh, the legend of Tower Brahma, we have a different video. Uh, it's called The Legend of Tower Brahma. You can just, uh, I mean go and watch the complete video about it and uh, so here's the uh, tower brahma and it's an interesting puzzle i mean recommended for all age it's it, i mean it could be a kind of a family puzzle where you put this thing on a center table and everybody will just love to uh, you know watch and you know kind of uh, you know I put their mind into it that this goes still this goes there this goes there i shifted there so it's a kind of a, a lovely thing and uh, it's a wooden puzzle in teak wood handcrafted in india so Tower Brahma, keep shifting the dish.